how we've shown it is we are here nearly nearly on the tail end of phase one. And you've seen a lot of capital go into companies. And the DNA of that capital, a lot of it's venture capital, some of it's private equity capital, a lot of it is it's private partnerships with companies. And the, the ones that have managed to go public, it's been retail capital. But the DNA of really that capital is going to change as we move into phase two and then on to phase three, because phase two is more of underwriting the actual deployment of the infrastructure deployment of the first ones the, the demonstration exactly. plants which which are the high risk because there's a lot of first of a kind learning that has to go on as you build those first plants. exactly and that's how we we framed it as this is these are actually the hardest investors to find because you know typically you you can underwrite volume times price equals revenue and associate with that revenue is some level of operating expense and associated with creating that rev revenue is some level of capital expenditures great you know, from a nuclear standpoint, the revenue piece is fairly straightforward because the power output and mm -hmm. the, the price for the power output, if it's underwritten by a power purchase agreement, is, is fairly predictable. So from, from one lens, it's like these predictable cash flows. But then the issue really with nuclear is the CapEx piece, mm -hmm. not only the amount of CapEx, but also the time component. So, you know, and the operating expenses, and, and you can opine here as well, are, are much more predictable than the capex and the time. Absolutely. Right? Yep. 